Caps, plus 400 favorites to repeat on the DK Sportsbook, which is not obviously a, uh, you know, a crazy number. I know you said it's a little early for you to put money down on anybody, but McKinnon, McCarr, my God. I mean, there's a lot of talent here. Do we think they could win a few Cups, go on kind of a Tampa run? Well, further to what I just said, uh, they only had 14 players signed for next season. So their list of UFAs includes Burakovsky, Nichushkin, and Kadri up front, Manson on defense, and Darcy Kemper in goal, their number one guy. They have almost $26 million to spend. So uh, addressing what I mentioned earlier, a few of these guys certainly may be resigned, but their roster is going to look quite different next season when you see what other players they add to the 14 that are already under contract next year. And that includes getting a number one goalie in, in, in house. What about you, Jeff? I mean, look, it, it's so tempting to just say, yeah, like the Avalanche. And, and look, they're going to have a great core and they're probably going to be really good again. But in this age, like, I, well, I, I can't emphasize enough how rare what Tampa Bay did the last three years getting to the Stanley Cup final is going to be. Paul's absolutely right. Like, th this roster could look so different. Val Nikushkin is a guy, they, it's just like a diamond in the rough they almost got for free. He's so good, like, both ways for them. He is going to get paid by someone, though, and I don't know if it's going to be Colorado, if they're going to be willing to pay that. That is going to be a big loss to their top six. This is a player who's in their top six all season long, making big contributions on special teams. Darcy Kemper, people sort of rallied on him for, for being a little bit too inconsistent. Well, guess what? He stepped up, and he was such a good bounce-back goalie, bouncing back from losses four straight times in the playoffs. That's going to be a big loss. You're going to find another clutch goalie off the street. Ask the Oilers how easy it is to find goalies. It's not. So, yeah, the Avalanche's roster is going to look different. Um, you know, at the betting odds, plus four, 400, there's no way in professional sports I'm ever betting a team in the offseason to win a championship at hmm. plus 400. I don't care if it's like the dream team from, like, 1996. We're not betting it at plus 400. There's just no way that you can do that. So you got to look down the board here. The Avalanche are probably going to be very good again. They're still probably going to be the best team in the West, but do you want to chance it at plus 400? No, At the very least you got, you got to wait and see if these odds get up after we get some roster movement.